Hello YouTube! Happy almost Halloween! It's my favorite time of year. I wanted to show you some of the Halloween resin pieces that I have made this year. Um, so this first group of stuff that I have to show is stuff that is already finished and it is for sale on either my Etsy or my store Envy, which you can see in the description bar below. So first I have this magnet. It's got a black to silver gradient. It doesn't show up as well on this camera. Um, and then it's got this nice happy haunting and two bats that glow in the dark. Nice and shiny. And that is a magnet. And then I have this magnet, which is, um, it's got a candy corn stripe of glitter and this big black glitter skull. It's a nice big magnet. And then I have some um, necklace pieces. They're not on their chains here, but they all have chains that go with them. Um, so I have this one. It's actually a gray glitter mix um, in this kind of really fun colored uh, striped pumpkin with some stars. And I have this one. Kind of reminds me of like a vintage uh, Halloween decoration. It says boo. It's got a really pretty purple background. And it's just white on the back. And then I have this one, which is a super bright neon green. The camera is freaking out because it's so neon. Um, and it's got a white background. And the sticker is a little bit translucent, so you can sort of see the green through it. Um, it's not as translucent as it looks on this camera in real life. It's just because it's so bright. But I really like that one. And then I have... This one, it's got a really pretty purple to blue gradient, um, which again, my camera has a really hard time with purple, so it looks a lot more blue on here. And then the owl and the stars glow in the dark. And have this one, which is this really cool um, bubbling cauldron and some stars on like a super neon purple um, kind of a fuchsia color and then it's just white and this one which is a trio of cute little candies just on orange white background And then this one, um, which is actually, uh, this is a Hello Kitty sticker. So it's like Hello Kitty is a little black cat silhouetted on a moon. And I just kind of like this shape, it's really cute. And then there's this one, which is Hello Kitty in her little devil costume with a pumpkin and just a little candy corn there. And that one's got a white background as well, all ready to go as a necklace. So that one's really cute. Um, so those are all the ones that are already currently for sale. And then this next batch is stuff that is pretty much ready to go. It's all domed and everything. I just haven't put bales and things on there. Um, now as it's almost Halloween, it's probably a little too late to list them for sale. But if anyone is interested in them, you can certainly comment or let me know. Um, and I'd be happy to, to sell them and send them your way. Um, so first I have this one, which is, again, um, I really like the colors of candy corn, so that's a candy corn striped skull, um, and then it's just painted black on the, you know, details. And this is really thick, so it really is going to be too thick to use for like a pendant, I would think, so I was thinking maybe a magnet or even a keychain on this one. But I like him. And then we have this one. 
it's Halloween, but it's also kind of autumnal. It's got kind of this um, silvery to kind of bronzy brown um, glitter gradient there. So I thought he was cute. And then this one. I really like how this one came out. Um, ooh, it's too shiny. So it's got a witch's hat, and then it says boo. And I really like the green on the background of this one. And then it's just got a white background. But it's a really nice glitter mix. really like it. And it's very shiny. <clears throat> And then I have these two little pieces. And this one's got a little Hello Kitty bat. And this one's just got a potion bottle. And they both have white backgrounds on them and use these really cool candy sprinkles. Super cute. I've been using them a lot. And I have a couple of little bats using my new bat mold. Um, so this one's a black with iridescent glitter and just white on the background. And then there's this one that is more of those candy sprinkles and also white. And then I have this one, again, more candy sprinkles, yum yum. Um, with a few pieces of candy and a little star there. This one's domed really high. It's kind of hard to see because um, I had issues with my resin not setting so I just had to kind of keep adding more um, until it hardened so it's it's good now. And it's just white on the background. You can see the... I'm gonna have to... I'll sand this down if anyone is interested in it because this is the overpour from when like the third time I domed it so... And then there's this one as well. This one is one of my favorites. It's super cute. More of that, um, those candy sprinkles. And this really cute little bat. Boo. I like the contrast of the black over the sprinkles on this one. It's really cute. Again, it's really thick. I'm not sure if it's really too thick to use as a pendant, but I like it. And then I have this one. This is another one that's a Hello Kitty sticker, um, little bat friend, so cute, and just a little pumpkin, and a really pretty purple, and white background. And then there's this one, it's really pretty, um, bow mold that's got a lot of iridescent glitter in it, and of course little devil hello kitty there, and that one's just black on the background super pretty. And then this is from my new spider mold. So I love how these ones came out. I'm not really sure what to do with them yet. But there's, um, it's actually a three stage pour. So there's black with glitter and then a solid white layer that was poured next. And then the background layer which on this one is purple glitter. And on this one is the candy sprinkles. So I think these two are really cool. I think I'm just going to leave them just like this. Um, they're not shiny, but they're not completely matte. Um, so I think they look okay as they are. Um, I just need to finish the backs on these. And they could be, they could be pendants. They could be magnets, keychains. They're fairly large. Um, that, you know, they fit kind of in the palm of my hand, but I do think they are super cool. I love the effect on these. So they're time consuming, but they came out really awesome. Um, so anyway, that's all the Halloween stuff that I have that's completed. I have a few more pieces that are curing or being domed right now, but I'm really at the point where Halloween is over and I probably should have finished this ages ago. Um, but anyway, that's all the Halloween stuff that I have made this year. I hope everyone else is looking forward to a really spooky Halloween. Bye.